Hello everybody. This is my second lesson to my ongoing series about how to use HTML5's Canvas feature. So to just get started on coding, uh, this is a basic HTML5 page. It is the exact same layout from the last lesson, except it doesn't have the code to make a rectangle. Since we're not making a rectangle, we are making lines. Um, it's a little bit different than making a rectangle, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be good to go. So to start out, we need to create a path. So we're going to say context dot begin path and context dot close path just so I do not forget. Be between here, um, to create a line or actually to create a starting point for a line, we're basically moving a an invisible pen to a specific point. Um, so we're going to say context dot move to and uh, 20 on the x uh, on the x axis and 100 on the y axis and then for the ending points I'm going to say context dot line 2 and 100 by 20 now to give this line some style I'm going to say context dot stroke style and um, the styling for a line is the exact same as styling it for a stroke uh, like and I did in the uh, last tutorial or last lesson um, so I'm gonna make this a red line RGB 255 by 0 by 0 uh, context dot line width this sets the width for the line. Uh, I'm going to say about 7. And then to draw the actual line, we say context dot stroke. Um, just setting the coordinates, or the, uh, just setting the position for the line with move to and line to does not actually draw the line. Um, so save this. And you'll see that we have a red line just moving across the screen. Um, Notice how the edges are kind of flat. So to fix that, or to change that actually, um, we're going to say context dot line cap. And with this, there are three different um, options. You can either do uh, but, but, which is what we have right now. You can do round, which is that looks actually nice. Um, or you can do a uh, square, which is not much different than the last one, the um, the original one also. But it, there is a difference. Uh, you just can't see it right now. Um, I like the round one, so let's keep it on that. Okay, now... Um, I want to show you what would happen if you made another line two position. So context dot line two, 180 by 100. Refresh that. Um, you'll see that the line moves off of the move to position, as if um, this one wasn't here. So line two really sets the ending position and move to really starts the the starting position for a line. Um, also, you'll notice how the joint here is is sharp. So to to change that, it's kind of like the line cap. You say context dot uh, line join equals, and there's also three different options. There's round which kind of fits nice with the rounded caps there is bevel which creates a flat like look like a bevel and uh, mitter m-i-t-e-r and that is what we had before or originally so I'm gonna set it to round just to keep it the style 
Um, now, also, what would happen if you had another move to after the first line to? So context dot move to uh, forty by one hundred twenty. And change this to 120 by 40. You notice that it creates a new starting position for the uh, second line too. This is because you're actually creating a new line. Um, you don't have to create another st uh, stroke because it's already there. Stroke is just like a styling. So I um, hope you liked this lesson. Uh, stay tuned for the next lesson, which will be about creating circles or a circle. Um, so please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you again. Thanks. Bye.